Anyway, okay, let me start from the beginning. Let me start from the beginning because again, this is going to be this is going to be a YouTube video as well. Um and hopefully a YouTube series because this will be a fun project of me just trying to hack away at something that I really don't even know how to build, but we're going to struggle through it together. And I want to explain it here. So I am starting a new React Native project, and this is probably going to be the biggest React Native project, if not the one of the only React Native projects I'll actually do. Here's the premise of everything. OK, actually, let me switch to this screen. Um. The premise of everything is the app's name is going to be called Toodaloo. And the way we spell that, we should actually probably take notes on this. Hold on. Give me a second. Toodaloo. And I've already actually taken some notes on this. Here's the app name. Toodaloo is what I'm going to call it. APIs and libraries. I've got a couple things. So React Native Maps. Actually, let me ex explain the premise of Toodaloo. So that way some of these uh apis and libraries and stacks and all that actually makes sense so toodaloo is going to be think yelp and ways the two apps combine together all right so that's the premise so let's just say for example you're out on vacation let's just say you're in san francisco okay and you really really need to go to the bathroom but for those of you guys who have been to san francisco you you would understand that not all the bathrooms are all that clean and you don't know which ones are good and you don't know which ones you have to pay for right so what if we designed and built an app that helped you figure out which bathrooms were the cleanest were the nicest and kind of the closest to you that didn't require you to pay or do anything like that right because you know if you go to a starbucks for example sometimes they do make you buy a coffee or something in order for you to use their bathroom and you would like to know before you go in if you need to do that because you're not willing to you're in a pinch right you really really need to go and you know you need to figure out which ones are the best options this is where toodaloo would come from so here is my thought why not create an app that is completely user run the database itself is an ever-growing database that is user driven due to people going out in beta and going to these bathrooms and taking pictures of the bathrooms, writing reviews, descriptions. You know, like I said, there's going to be a map on there and it's going to pinpoint these bathrooms based off of checked in locations of users. What I want is that you can click on a, a, a bathroom that you find on the map that's closest to you and 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 see pictures of this bathroom. How nice does it look? Is it maintained? Is there uh, something you have to pay or do you have to buy something? It's if it's, let's say, in a restaurant, right? Especially right now during the COVID, like bathrooms may not be open because restaurants aren't allowing it due to sanitary reasons or whatever. You know, you want to know what kind of bathroom you're walking into, especially if you're drop, about to drop a dookie and like you really, really need to go. Right. Sometimes you just you just need that peace of mind. So toodaloo, this is what I'm building. This is the this is the thought. You know, and I'm going to add some fun things in there. Like, you know, there's going to be uh, one of my friends requested Sudoku uh, to play because she likes to play Sudoku on the bathroom. So why not create our own game called Pudoku? And when you're on there, you can check into the bathroom. And if once you're checked in, it'll trigger like, hey, we saw that you're checked into this bathroom. If you're pooping, would you like to play Sudoku to pass the time? If you say yes, it'll load Sudoku and start a timer to time your bathroom breaks and, and whatever. So like, it's just like a super nice intuitive app that you can use while you're on the shitter. And at the same time, you get to really understand that like you're going to the best bathrooms, right? Think end goal for this app. Think events, right? You're, you're going to a concert. You're going to some sort of convention. And the bathroom situation is always one where it's like very iffy, especially like concerts where most of the time they're porta potties. Sometimes you don't know where they're located. Sometimes you don't know which stalls are the worst. So someone blew it up. So like this is where that app comes in. Sometimes maybe we can even license this to be like, hey, there's an event. Let's just say, I don't know, uh, the weekend is having a concert. It's an outdoor concert and the event runners are 
like they're setting up the bathroom situation, but they want to inform their their the the attendees of this concert about these bathrooms where they're located and things like that. And some people just want to know which one's the cleanest. Like if there's nine stalls out of the nine, which ones are the nicest and on the app, then you can see that. So that's the point of this, right? Is to potentially at the end of the day, my end goal is to maybe sell this out to Google or Apple and implement this as a map feature. So that way, when you're on there, you can find bathrooms as well. The same way you can find gas stations, uh, uh, charging stations for electric vehicles, niche things like that, where, you know, it's it's just a searchable filter on the map section. So you, you have a one stop shop for everything. I don't want a separate app, but as of right now, this is what we're doing. So this is the premise of Toodaloo, and this is exactly what I want to build. And I'm super excited about it because I actually genuinely like thought about this idea and thought, why not do it? Because I have sometimes when I'm in a pinch, if I ate something that I that didn't sit well in my stomach, I need to figure out where this bathroom bathroom is. So I need to uh, why not develop an app? Because I haven't seen one. This is the perfect example of like how to find projects. What's a problem in your life that that you run into constantly, not, if not constantly, more often than you would like to? And how are you going to solve it? This is exactly how I'm going to solve it. So that's the premise of Toodaloo. And this is the app that I'm going to be building on stream and also posting on YouTube as well to, to document the journey of this, because I think, well, this is going to be fun. Like, why not do this? Here's some of the APIs and libraries that I'm going to be using here. All right. So React Native Maps, obvious. I need a, I need some sort of Maps API to to mess with, to show a user the maps. Hey, yo, from Brazil. What's up, Luis? Um, so that's what's happening. Um, the next one is React Navigation. That's one. That one's a pretty standard one, just so we can uh, move users through different screens and things like that. I'm going to need React Navigation for this. And so React Navigation is going to be a huge proponent of this app, pretty much a backbone of it, uh, essentially. Another cool one that I found is React Native Camera. So this one will actually allow users to use the camera and, and I can integrate it into the application and trigger it somehow. So like I said, with Toodaloo, people are going to be going to bathrooms and taking pictures. Think of it like, you know, you visit a restaurant and you take a photo or you visit. I know there's a charging station app. So um, people actually visit these charging stations and take photos of it to show like people visiting like where what it looks like, the location, where to find it, if there's some nuances there. This is going to allow me to do that and then store those photos in a database uh, tied to this to this location or wherever the bathroom is located. And that way we can have the concept of a uh, user driven database where these bath these bathrooms will always, always, always be updated because of people constantly checking in. Right. Uh, Lottie React Native Library. I actually forgot what this one was. I believe this was a, a, li a component library. Lottie View. Uh, yeah. Oh, so this is an animations library. This one's going to be cool to make it a little bit feel a little bit more modern uh, and things like that. So that's what Lottie is. And the native based component library. This is going to make development a lot quicker because it is a component library at the end of the day. So you can actually see uh, mobile first component uh, accessible components for React Native and web. But uh, it'll just make things a lot cleaner, a lot faster to develop with. So that is going to be what I'm using for most of my components. It'll make it a lot easier to keep, you know, the design a little bit more fluent. Uh, yeah, a fluid and uh, consistent is the word I'm looking for throughout the whole app. So this is exactly what I'm going to be using for the components. You might just go with Expo. I don't think I'm going to go with Expo. I might build with uh the native react native cli i'm not sure yet that's kind of why i'm planning things out so like why would i go with expo is the question right like sure it makes development a little bit easier if you don't need any custom native modules sure i don't know that's something i'm gonna have to look into so as of right now these are the apis and libraries that i have uh now as far as the stacks and technologies obviously we're going with react, react native on the front end and now I'm kind of stuck. Uh, I'm also going to be using TypeScript, so I'm going to be using uh, using and learning TypeScript along the way. Uh, I have a little bit of experience reading TypeScript, but I haven't actually developed with it just yet. So uh, that's going to be a learning experience for me. Definitely going to slow down development as this will be a learning process. But I think what better way to learn TypeScript than actually to build a project with it. So Toodaloo will definitely be using TypeScript. 
Um, now that brings me, take a look at Magnus UI. Oh, this is why I love streaming. Oh man, this is why I love it so, so much. You guys have the knowledge. Magnus UI. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait, how? It's sad because I never was able to find this when I was looking it up. This actually looks really nice. A utility first React Native UI. So utility first. Is this just classes then? Oh, wait a minute. Is this free? Is this open source? It's like Tailwind CSS. Okay, hold up. This changes everything. I like this a lot. Oh my God. But for React... Oh my god, bro. This is insane. Yo, wait a minute. Okay, this changes it. We're changing this. Give me a second. Okay. So, up here instead of native base, cuz I've used native base before, I we might we may be switching to Magnus. Magnus UI. Holy hell, have you used this before? This is amazing. Yo, hold up. Snippets. Preve and next buttons, commerce, app card, a login page. Yo, this looks sick. Looks like Expo is on this. Yes, in production. Oh, say less. Oh my God. And it looks so easy to build with, right? Like, look at that. That's like simple. Very, very simple. Send OTP, you got a div or continue with. Oh man, this is insane. This is gonna be, I think this is gonna be a really good implement. Uh, this is gonna look great on the app. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this instead. Dude, thank you for the, uh, thank you for, for this. Freaking hell. Magnus, Magnus it is. So wait, I actually didn't get to see, um, I actually wanted to take a look at this. So where is it coming from? So React Native Magnus. Okay, so it is uh, components and there are utility classes to go with these components. Okay. So instead of like the text and stuff from React Native, we're actually just using the uh, Magnus package instead to use icons and buttons and things. Okay, I'm down with it. I'm down with it. Okay, I'm convinced. So we're not going to use this anymore. Uh, we're actually just going to, can I strike through in? Yeah. So native base component library is out. Um, yeah. Thank you Fett, for uh, recommending that. I'm in it. I'm sold. You don't even say, you don't even say anymore. I'm with it. It looks really good. The back end, the back end. I don't know if I want to use go or node, right? Like I do want to learn go on one on one end but node i'm a little bit more familiar with but like do i use that so i'm not sure which one i'm going to use fat this this may be where i get your opinion one hour later right so we're gonna say nest.js we got graphql and uh mongo mongo db right that's what we're saying for the database. I, I think I just want the learning experience. So I think I'm going to go with straight up MongoDB. Again, I'm like so unfamiliar with the full stack, but I want to know if there's anything that I'm missing. Now nah, you're good. The stack looks good as a full stack. Say less, right? So I think the next thing to list down before I head out is things to learn, right? So things to learn during this is definitely TypeScript. TypeScript's a huge one that I'm gonna have to learn on the way and as we move on. So TypeScript is gonna be a big one. GraphQL with backend is gonna be a big one too. So how I'm gonna use these queries and things like that and databases. So databases being with MongoDB and uh, in the end, how all of this ties in with each other. Deploying apps is going to be something that I need to learn. So there's a lot to learn here. And this again is going to be a, a, an ever growing list as well of what I'm going to be learning as this moves on. But I think this is going to be my very, very first not think I know for a fact, this is going to be my very, very first full fledged app that I built. Uh, and I'm really excited to like bring you guys along and and actually show you the process of Toodaloo. I mean, I have some of you guys backing me already, so that's already super cool. Uh, but hopefully I can get some supporters from you guys. Um, it means a lot, actually. Like I, I, this proof of concept is something I needed validation for, and you guys are definitely validating this. My friend group has already validated this a little bit, but to have other developers in the community validate this idea as well is super cool. Open source? Uh, potentially, yeah, I'd be open to having this open source. Um, why not? Right? I think that would be super cool to have it as an open source idea and just have it grow. So again, yeah. I think this is going to be good. I think this is going to be great. Uh, it's going to be a really great learning experience. I'm excited to be streaming this. 
uh, and making videos mm -hmm. again on this. Like, I think it's gonna be great. Also, for those of you guys who have just joined and followed and are still part of the stream, uh, exclamation point Discord. You guys can get an invite to the Discord channel. Uh, I'm trying to revive it. We have a lot of members, but not a lot active. Uh, and I'm trying to revive our community. So if you want to communicate and chat and uh, keep in touch in some of our in some of our uh, sub channels, then definitely do that. What in the world? Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys for joining in. I'm really, really happy to be back. Uh, it's so good to hear and see from you guys or see you guys in uh, back in the stream and just supporting. So yeah, I'm excited to see where this app goes as well. Have a good vacay. I will. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys on another stream. We'll continue this off and hopefully I'll get those videos up for you guys soon. Um, oh, wrong screen. But yeah, peep the YouTubes, peep the discords, and I'll see you guys on another stream. Peace.